Hi everyone, my name's Andy. We're very much looking forward to the second edition of the Toyota Mekong Club Championship Pride. Very much at stake for the five clubs representing their nations. This is how it works. The winners of the Laos, Cambodian and Myanmar leagues play a round robin to determine who plays Becker Mix, the defending champions from Vietnam. That semi-final on the 6th of December. The winner of that plays either Sisakat or Buriram, the winner of the Thai League Cup. And that's in the final. It's on the 20th of December. And the first game of the tournament takes place at the Anivang Stadium on the 1st of November. It's the Lao champions, Lao Toyota FC, taking on the winners of the regular season in the Cambodian League, Boeing Kett. Joining me to look forward to those matches and the rest of the tournament, former Singapore international, former Police United midfielder, John Wilkinson. Hi, John. Hello, Andy. Good to see you. Very much looking forward to this tournament. Oh, I can't wait. I really can't. The two teams you've mentioned, especially, are very, very exciting. They've got a nice mix of youth. Uh, emerging talent, but also some nice, uh, nice experienced internationals in there as well. Let's look forward then to the first game. Let's find out how Loyal Toyota booked their place in the TMCC. A dramatic 3-1 win on the final day of the season. The Vientian Bay Sai went into their tie against Lao Police FC, needing only to win to cement their status as the 2015 LPL champions. In only their second season in the nation's top flight, they win, John, by courtesy of having a better head-to-head -head record than the second place, Lao Xang United. Yeah, the first game they played was 0-0, as you said, and then 3-1, and uh, that's David Booth all over. You know, he can motivate your side, and uh, he's great for the younger players to really get in their heads and bring out the best in them. So. I like that. I like the fact they've won on the head to head. Let's hear from manager David Booth. Well, I think we learnt a lot from last year. Last year we finished in second place, and uh, we knew what we knew our failure from last year, and uh, we just tried to make sure that it didn't happen this year. And fortunately, a lot of hard work, and we've we've, won, we've, we've done well. You know, you got credit to the players. It's, it's not far off the same squad of players, and they've turned it around. We've got a regular support, they keep coming, and it'll be, it'll, at home it'll be very important, yeah. Let's have a look at this Lao Toyota FC side, and how they're going to shape up, John. Okay, the Lao side's going to set up pretty simple in a David Booth-esque way. He's going to be setting up in a 4-1-4-1. Top player is going to be Kazu Homa, right up top. He's a journeyman, 35 years old. Really good player, nice and lively. For the second straight season, he is the top uh, top scorer in the league with 29 goals again, phenomenal. And he's played most of his career in Hungary and Serbia. Um, behind him, you're gonna have City Death, who's international. Um, he played in the 2012 Suzuki Cup in Singapore. Um, and on the flank, loads of pace, Seiya Lasuna, and he's gonna be really lively, number 19. He'll be starting on the left-hand side, um, keep an eye out for him. It's a very, very exciting lineup. I think their average age is only about 25 years old. Um, and David Booth, as he always does, get in the head of the players and every game will be a cup final. John's already mentioned Kazuo Homa. In the form of his life, the Japanese striker spoke to us at the end of the season. No, hard work. It's uh, everybody. You see, everybody uh, works very, very hard. So this is more, more important factor, I think. Yes. Thank you. Support us for coming uh, every game and uh, Let's see how the Cambodian regular season shaped up. Boeing kept the winners there. More drama on the final day of the season as they overcame Phnom Penh Crown FC 4-2. An exciting second stage to the Cambodian League. The battle between the perennial rivals went into the final day of stage two of the regular season with Crown in second place and needing a win if they were to leap for Prak Suvanara's Boeing Ket. They were sitting pretty at the top of the table. However, Boeing Ket's Vatanaka in no mood for prisoners. He bagged a treble. Teammate Kuan Lavaravi also getting his name on the score sheet. A 4 2 victory in Phnom Penh's RCAF Stadium, another thrill into the season again. Yeah, incredible. And more goals for Chan Vatanakin. 21 years old, the diminutive little forward. And we just saw him in Singapore for the SEA Games, and he was a really busy, exciting young talent. 35 goals he scored this season. Unbelievable statistics for someone so young. Let's hear from the striker. 
Uh, uh, train together with his teammate and when they uh, when he go to home he train again. Okay, uh, we can do more better than this and we hope that we can score again like that. Vatanako there, the deadly goal scoring machine. How will he line up in this Boeing kept formation, John? Well, he's going to line up in an absolutely chilling trident up front, scoring a lot of goals alongside Baravi. He will be in that central forward position. Vatanaka, he'll be on the right hand side of that, playing a kind of Neymar role. And on the left hand side, uh, Benga, who is just absolute raw pace. A little bit of a rough diamond but he's got so much pace that it's so difficult to defend against. And they'll set up in a 4-3-3 formation, looking for goals every time they get the ball. They don't have a plan B, but usually their plan A is good enough and very, very exciting. They do have stability in the central midfield area with Sotharat, with a 25-year-old international. Um, he's, he's gunning over 30 caps for the national team now. He'll hold that central midfield area and just screen the back four nice and tidily. Team manager B. Makara spoke to us after the final game of the season. I want, want to say thank you for uh, all supporters to uh, attend of the game, this game. And uh, I, I would like to thank you uh, to the player today for a good performance.